a celebratory day for sure. A lot of sunshine out there today, but I don't know if I'd want to be outside celebrating St. Patty's Day today. Maybe a brisk walk. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about it. Temperatures in the 20s. By the way, I did get the memo that it's St. Patty's Day. Can't wear green, though, because if you know the secret of the green screen, you know that uh, I would disappear if I had green on. So got to be careful with what I wear on St. Patrick's Day. All right, so there's a look outside through city cam again. We've had some blue sky and sunshine at times, but Boy, temperatures not responding to that sunshine at all. The low this morning, 17 degrees. That is 10 degrees short of average. The high, only 28, and that was actually just after midnight. The daytime high was about 23, 24 degrees. So well short of our average high, uh, 46. And remember 2012, again, we've been talking all week about that very warm stretch we had in 2012. But look at today's record high, 83 degrees. So that would be 55 degrees warmer than where we uh sat today with that high of 28. Record low is 7 degrees below zero. Just a trace of snow with some flurries uh, overnight last night. 22 degrees out at the airport and downtown at the station. Wind still gusting upwards of 30 miles per hour. That's pushing our wind chill down to 7 degrees here in La Crosse. 17 for you folks in Eau Claire with a wind chill of zilch zero boy not to, <laughs> great conditions to be out and about so make sure you bundle up if you're going to be out and about uh, temperatures in the teens and 20s for most spots 18 in eau claire 19 in black river falls right at 20 in baroqua 24 in prairie de Chine. again those winds were a story as uh, i mentioned last night uh, during the overnight and throughout the day today gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour so that's pushing wind chills into the single digits even below zero to the west 11 degrees for our friends over in Mankato, and that's below zero. So windchill tracker showing windchills dropping below zero pretty much all across the region, even double digits below zero around Preston and Rochester. Wake up time or heading out tomorrow morning for activities, uh, single digits above and below zero for those windchills, and it's going to stay cold uh, right through tomorrow night. and. Uh, a little bit warmer on Sunday, but still on the chilly side. Uh, lows tonight, air temperatures in general will be cold enough. Upper single digits to lower teens in most spots. Again, don't be shocked if you see a few flurries in spots as some moisture kind of wraps around that departing low pressure system heading off to our north and east. In fact, you can see those clouds kind of trying to back their way from north to south as that low continues to pull away. But that's what really ramped up the winds, and that's what's going to cause this little trough to rotate around, uh, squeezing out some flurry potential tonight and tomorrow. Sky Tracker will show that mostly cloudy conditions tonight. And again, you see those specks of blue from time to time. Those are the snow showers or flurries with some lake enhanced uh, snow showers coming off, uh, coming off of Lake Superior. And then tomorrow, again, still a few flurries and then more sunshine as we head into the day on Sunday, and that, along with some southwesterly winds, will help warm temperatures back into the 30s, maybe flirting with 40 in spots on Sunday as well. Not tomorrow, though. Another day like today. Highs only in the 20s. Uh, most spots between about 23 and 27 degrees for afternoon highs. So again, well short of average by about 20 degrees or so. Eau Claire, you'll be right around 25 for an afternoon high. So for tonight, windy and unseasonably cold. Those scattered flurries, maybe a brief light snow shower in spots. Lows around 12 degrees. Still breezy and cold tomorrow. Chance of flurries. Highs near 25. Again, not as cold on Sunday, 39. And then spring, astronomical spring on Monday. And temperatures more seasonable next week. Most days in the mid to upper 40s. Slight chance of rain showers on Tuesday. A little bit better chance for some periodic showers next Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, at least we have more seasonable type air to look forward to next week. All right, we'll take it. Yeah.